Hello friends, just me popping in here to say I hope that you're doing well today. Today's story is from the community known as Amino, or more so the website known as Amino. It's not really, I mean, it's separate communities on one website, so it's kind of like a, like a Reddit kind of thing. Anyway, this is from an Amino uh, community called Mr. Misfortune, or the Misfortune Universe, and it's written by somebody known as Ghost Child. Uh, the name of the story is Misfortune. This is part one of three, and I do have permission to narrate all three of them, so just know I'm going to narrate this one, and then we'll press on from here. This story is set up in a very interesting way. It is set up to where it's kind of like a found footage story. I know that sounds really odd, but think of it like this. The story is separated into tapes or pieces of footage. It's kind of like you as a person are viewing the footage like it's videos. So reading the story is like watching videos. It's really strange, but the way it's set up actually works out really well, and I actually do like it, so I wanted to go ahead and narrate it. I think that about sums it up, so without further delay, this is Misfortune Part 1 by Ghost Child from the Amino community that I linked down in the description. Enjoy. 2015, December 5th, 2 p.m. A boy could be seen sitting next to another male. The boy on the right, Matthew, has pale skin, green eyes, and black wavy hair. He is 21. The boy on the left, Josh, has light, tan skin with curly ginger hair and blue eyes. He was 22, just a year older than Matthew. The two talked about random things, but soon Josh stood up grabbing the camera. Well, look who walked into the room, he said as he pointed the camera at a short female walking into the room. She looked to be the same age as Matthew. The girl had long blonde hair, pale skin, and blue eyes. Her name was Crystal. Crystal smiled, sticking her tongue out. 2015, December 6th, 8 a.m. Josh was walking up to Matthew, who was sitting on a bench at the park they were at. Josh, is that camera your lover or something? <laughs> Matthew said as he chuckled, looking up at Josh. I mean, sure, Josh said with a laugh. He then turned around to see Crystal walking up to them. Crystal smiled. Hey, she said as she tightened her ponytail a little. However, there was something in the distance. A tall, gray-skinned figure just watching them. Soon, the screen cuts to black. 2015, December 5th, 10 p.m. Josh was walking around his house. I kept hearing something walking around, but... <sighs> he sighed. I couldn't find anything. I called the cops and they couldn't find anyone either. He then walked back into his room, setting the camera down on his dresser. I'm keeping this on all night, just in case. Josh soon sat down on his bed before laying down and covering himself with the blanket. 12 a.m. Josh laid fast asleep in his bed. Everything was silent before soon the door opened to his room slightly. Then the screen goes black. 2015, December 8th, 9 a.m. Josh was standing by another male who was sitting on a chair in front of a computer. His name was Alex. Alex had peach-colored skin with dark brown hair that was down to his shoulders and wavy. As he watched the video on the computer, the one from the last night, he sighed. Alex then turned to look at Josh and said, Okay, you have to be pranking me. I'm not, trust me, Josh said with a sigh. But what do you think I should do? Alex stayed silent for a moment before standing up. Honestly, I don't know, man, but I would just take a year-long break from recording. 2016, March 1st, 8 a.m. Hey, my name's Anthony, Josh's friend. Josh told me that I could have the channel, but he didn't tell me why. I guess it was because he just didn't want to have it anymore. Well, here are some things I recorded. Anthony sat at a restaurant along with Josh, Crystal, and Matthew. They all seemed to be having a good time. 2016, March 2nd, 10 a.m. Matthew can be seen sitting on the couch by Josh. Josh looked up at the camera and smiled slightly. However, Matthew soon got up. I have to go, he said as he walked outside. Josh and Anthony followed, but the audio cuts out. In the distance, the same tall, gray-skinned figure can be seen. 2016, March 3rd, 4 p.m. Anthony sighed as he started to speak. So, I've been noticing that something has been appearing in these videos. He paused for a moment before saying, Matthew left when it came around, so maybe he knows something about it. I might go talk to him. 4.21 p.m. Anthony can be seen sitting on the couch beside Matthew. So, I've seen something in these videos, and you seem to have known it was there. Matthew sighed. I've been seeing it more recently. I started seeing it when I was 14 or something. 
He then stood up and grabbed a piece of paper with a symbol on it. It was an X with an arrow going through the middle. Ever since I started seeing this thing, just everything went wrong. Soon, a message flashes on the screen for a split second. Carrier. Anthony now held the paper looking at the symbol. <laughs> Strange, he mumbled. 2016, March 4th, 2.09 p.m. Anthony could be seen sitting in front of an old newspaper from 1876. A cult? He said as he read through it. He then saw the symbol. One of them was the same one Matthew had on the paper. They stayed in a building that's near here. He then got up and grabbed his phone. 2.12 p.m. Alex, Josh, Crystal, Anthony, and Matthew sat on the floor by the newspaper. Okay, what are we going to do about it? Crystal said as she looked at them. They all shrugged. Then Anthony said, Maybe we could look in the buildings where they said they stayed? We could find more answers, maybe. Matthew thought about it for a moment, then nodded, and so did Crystal and Alex. Josh shook his head. No, stupid idea, he said before getting up. I'm just going to go home. 2016, March 5th, 9am. Matthew could be seen sitting in the back of the car, looking out the window. Crystal sat next to him, and Anthony could be seen driving the car. Alex held the camera. They soon came up to an old-looking building. Some windows had been smashed. 9.05 a.m. Anthony and the others could be seen walking into a room. There were old notes, but the ink on them were smudged. What the hell did this even say? Alex said, looking at the notes. They all looked at each other. 2016, March 6th, 1.09 p.m. Me and Crystal went back to the building to search for clues. Matthew and the others couldn't come since they were busy. Anthony and Crystal could be seen looking around the room in the abandoned building from the last video. There have to be some clues here, Anthony said as he looked around. Then the screen cuts to black. 5.12 p.m. Me and Crystal searched the building for some clues on who these cult members were. We couldn't look it up since no one knows what happened or who they were. After looking for five hours, we stayed at a hotel for the night. Anthony could be seen walking down the hall to his hotel room. A girl's voice calls out. He looked over. The girl had peach-colored skin with brown hair that stopped at her shoulders. Hey, Anthony. I haven't seen you in a while. Anthony nodded. Oh, <laughs> hey, Alice. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while, he said with a sigh. What's the camera for? Alice asked as she put her hands in her jean pockets. Oh, um, just to record things, he said with a nervous chuckle. I'm doing a little investigation on a myth, so just, yeah. Alice nodded. Oh, okay. She then said, well... I'm just gonna go. It was nice seeing you, she said before walking away. 2016, March 7th, 8 a.m. Anthony and Crystal could be seen outside the building once again, but soon they hear footsteps. The screen cuts to black, and the audio cuts. There was a gunshot, and Crystal could be heard screaming. 8.01 a.m. Crystal could be seen running up to the hotel and into her room. She shut the door, setting down the camera. However, the screen cuts to black, and she could be seen laying on the floor. A figure could be seen sitting on the chair in the room. Mason. He looked at the camera and smiled before the screen cuts to black. 2016, March 8th, 8.07 a.m. I found the camera on my porch this morning. I watched the video that was posted a few moments after the last one. Here's that clip. Mason was holding the camera, hiding behind trees as he recorded the events of the last video. Josh could be seen walking by them with a gun, and then there was a gunshot. 8.02 a.m. Mason could be seen dragging Crystal into the woods before laying her down. Then the screen goes black, and Crystal's gone. I went to Josh's house to confront him, but of course he wasn't there. Me and Alex tried looking for Crystal and Anthony, but we just found blood. 2016, March 9th, 2 a.m. Alex slept over at my house. I thought I'd record myself sleeping in case anything happened. Matthew could be seen asleep on the bed. Alex was lying on a sleeping bag on the floor. For a split second, a tall gray figure can be seen standing in the corner, then the screen cuts to black. 2016, March 9th, continued, 2.06 a.m. Mason can be seen standing over Alice, who was sleeping. Soon, the screen cuts to black, and then when it comes back to normal, Alice and Mason are nowhere to be seen. 2.10 a.m. The tall gray-skinned creature can be seen standing in the distance in the woods. The screen glitches. Soon, the creature said, The time is running out. Then the words Mr. Misfortune appear on the screen. 2016, March 10th, 2 p.m. Matthew could be seen sitting on the couch, listening to a voicemail from Alex. He holds his head as he listens. 
Hey, Matt, look, I'm sorry I left without telling you, but I... I just can't. We've lost almost everything due to this thing. I just want to get away from it all. I'm sorry. March 11th, 8 a.m. Matthew can be seen getting out of his car and walking into Lake Hill Woods. He takes a pocket knife out of his pocket, looking at it before starting to walk. Well, Josh wanted to meet me here. Here I am, Matthew mumbled. Slight whispers could be heard as he walked. 8.12 a.m. Matthew stood looking around. He soon saw Josh looking at him. You brought it here, Josh said as he looked at Matthew. You're the reason all of this started. Josh stepped closer to Matthew. And the only way to get rid of it is to kill you. Just as Josh raised his gun, Matthew tackled him, dropping the camera. The audio cuts out as the screen glitches. Soon, Josh went limp. Matthew stood up, holding the now blood-covered knife. He grabbed the camera and walks back to his car. Matthew gets in and sits down, setting the camera down. Matthew's nose was bleeding. He was breathing heavily as he grabbed onto the steering wheel, his hair falling in his face as he looks down. But soon, he looks up and out the window. The screen starts to glitch. 8.14 a.m. The driver's seat is empty. Soon, the glitch screen and the words, This is the end, appeared on the screen, along with a symbol. Alright, so that was part one of Misfortune. Again, that is part one of three. You know, I'm gonna say three, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Let's just say that there may be more to come after three. Maybe. I'm not going to give much away on that. <laughs> anyway, thank you to Ghost Child uh, for letting me narrate the story. He's been super excited for me to narrate this, and I understand why. This is a fantastic story, and I'm super happy to have it on my channel, honestly. The entire series is really fun. The idea was really good. It's something I haven't seen really done before. So uh, kudos to you on that, Ghost Child, and I hope that you enjoy this. I hope all of you enjoy this. How about that? I hope everybody that listens to this video enjoys it. And if you do enjoy it, you can click on that little thumbs up button that says that you enjoyed it. That's literally what that does. It tells me that you enjoyed the story enough to click on a button. That sounds like I'm demeaning the action. That was not intended. That tells me you like the story enough to tell me that you like the story. How about that? Does that sound better? <laughs> also, if you enjoy my narrations, please do consider subscribing to the channel. We're still climbing, and that's awesome. I love it. Also, please do leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you if you have anything to say to me. There is a link in the description to the Amino community for this series, so you guys can check that out as well. Amino is a really cool community, honestly. I, I like it. It's new to me. I'm really still really fresh in it, but it's, um, it's really cool. I like how they laid it out. Also in the description are links to my subreddit, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as a page where you can submit a story to me so I can read it for my channel. If you have one, please do. I would love to read any stories from you guys. All that said, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you on the next video. But until then, sleep well.